Well, welcome back everybody to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to, if everything goes according to plan, uh, get our freighter upgraded with all three of the warp drives for the red, green, and blue star systems. And um, start moving towards the center of the galaxy. I'm really itching to get out and do some more exploring and start moving, you know, uh, closer to the center. Uh, but before we get started with that, uh, it, you saw in the opening montage that we had um, we had a chance at a Star Destroyer style ship, but it was a Class C. So I decided to turn it down one hold out for something a little bit better than that. Um, and then we, um, let's see, what did we do in, in that? We, we brought in a couple of missions, but what I mostly wanted to show you is that we are now sitting at $622.2 million dollars. Or units um, and 34,000 M change with nanites. We are making money like hand over foot uh, by being a pirate. <laughs> so basically, uh, what I've done is there's a, a GEC system, a GEC pirate system right next to the uh, Ezekiel system, which is a, a Viking triple star system. And so I just go over there, blow up ships when I get loaded up, but come back, sell it. Get salvage frigate modules, wash, rinse, repeat, and yeah, we've we've made a ton of money doing that. Um, and speaking of salvage frigate modules, I now have 28 of these, and we are going to grab those. Uh, we also have some salvage glass and some other things to pop open too. Um, but what I want to do is I want to go here and I want to upgrade the frigate. Uh, I'm sorry, the freighter, so that we can go to these star systems. Um, so we're going to buy the a red system drive we're gonna buy the green system drive and we're gonna buy the blue system drive and that leaves us with four more salvage frigate bundles and we want to I'm also gonna get these drives this will increase our range by 300 light years and this one will increase it by 800 um, but we need a total of 12 and 8 so we need a total of 20 more salvage frigate modules to unlock those. And then that gets all of the tech unlocked. Uh, there's still some, um, you know, decorative types of things that we can also unlock later on. Uh, but those are not a high priority for me right now. Um, also, I'm hanging on to the cargo bulkheads. In fact, you know what? Let's, um, let's grab both of those and put these over here. Because this is my upgrades storage container. And we'll just keep these guys down here. I'm not, um... I'm not going to use these on this ship anymore because I am looking to to change uh, out to a, uh, one of the the larger uh, capital sh uh, capital ships uh, when the opportunity comes uh, for us to do that. Okay, so we got that done. Um, we have some fleets that we need to do. Uh, so yeah, it looks like we have several fleets. Oh, by the way, I ha I now have maxed out on frigates, so I have a total of 30 frigates. I uh, spent more time off camera, you know, getting the rest, and I think I have a pretty decent balance of the four types of frigates, too. So um, I'll go through this pretty quickly. Uh, I'm not going to keep reading it in real time because, I mean, it's interesting, but after a while, just it gets to be too much. So we'll just move through this very quickly. I'm mostly just, I'm kind of speed reading it, but I'm mostly looking to see what uh, the reward was. So this one's bringing in some cash. Um, yeah, this is a trade mission, so that's to be expected. All right, and so in total, those fusion accelerants are worth quite a bit of money, too. So those are nice. Look at that, 3.2 million in credits. Very nice. Okay, looks like this expedition is still going. Let's um just get a quick update on it. Okay, so, so 12 more, oh, only 12 more minutes. Okay, so they're not gonna be out for that much longer at all. Um, this is, I believe this is a combat mission. It doesn't tell us that here. Okay, cool. So that won't take too much longer. Um, this is, this looks like an industrial by based upon the ships there. So let's see what we get out of this one. All right, not as good as the, the trade mission. But you got to remember, too, you know, all, all of our frigates, or most of them, are, are brand new. It's going to take a while for them to level up. Well, we got 800,000 credits. That's not so bad. Okay, this was an exploration mission, because these are all explorer ships. 
see how, how this one goes. Hmm, okay. Oh, okay, so we got a legendary bullion. That might be worth some money. Oh, and some alien skulls, too. Okay, so I, th I think the the main money through the exploration menus comes through finding those rare items uh, and not so much the straight, you know, the cold hard cash, because as you can see, we don't have much there. I guess I must have already done that fleet. And I think this was a balanced mission. Yeah, because it's got a, a mix of different ships there. Hot ice. That's just funny. Wow, this actually did pretty good. How, mu how much uh, cold hard cash did we get? Two point four mil. Nice. That's that's not bad. Okay, cool. So yeah, we just have probably another ten minutes or so now left on those guys. Um, all right, so I think what I will do is let's wait for this expedition to finish first, and then we'll have all of our ships back here, and then we'll decide, uh, you know, how to reassign reassign them. Uh, so let's see; these things are worth six hundred thousand. Those are worth two hundred and ten thousand. Let's just sell that stuff right now. There's no point in keeping hanging on to it. And I am in a the three star. I think I'm in the yeah. I'm in the Ezekiel's three-star system so we'll just sell this stuff now we don't need the albumin pearls I think we'll keep the hot ice because that is used for uh, can be used for crafting so we'll sell the, the bullion thingamadoodle um, this is a precious treasures Ooh, that one was worth seven hundred thousand that's really good um, I know this the price is low on this but it's not enough for me to worry about it so we'll just sell that the way that it is and I think we want to keep here we'll sell the magnetized ferret too so that stuff coming out my ears. All right, let's switch to the starship inventory, or I'm sorry, the freighter inventory. And there isn't really anything there that I want to sell either. Okay, so I'm going to get uh, all this stuff put away, and then uh, we'll move on to the next thing. So see you in a second. All right, now, next thing I want to do real quick is we have in here all of this stuff to crack open. Uh, we'll probably get a bunch of modules, but those modules, if they're not actually worth keeping, uh, we can get, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, wiring limbs from them. And I forgot to sell the alien skulls, but we'll probably, we might get a couple, well, actually, I don't think we will. So let's sell the alien skulls now. Get those out of our inventory. Those are worth two, two, two. Okay. All right. Let's bust all this stuff open and see what we get. I'm actually going to move them down here first. Uh, these we get from unknown graves, I believe. Scanner module. Um, positron ejector. So that's a starship. And this is a... Launch thruster. I think, is that the one that just recharges the launchers? Let's take a look at it. Yeah, I, I believe it is. Auto charge, yeah. Now, I want to keep this though because, you know, we're going to get more starships down the road and they're not all going to be sail ships, so it's still worth uh, keeping keeping that. Where did it go? Oh, it's in the Starship inventory. That's it, right? Yeah. Okay, so we'll put that in there. Um, this is the Positron. I'm not using the Positron right now. Well, let's let's at least take a look at it and see if it's got good numbers. If it doesn't, I'll just melt it down. Twenty percent accuracy, twenty-five percent range. I mean, that's actually decent for a positron ejector, but that's also a class B, too. 
Yeah, I don't know. Let, let's just hang on to it for now, I guess. Okay, this is a scanner module. We're already maxed out on those, but this could be potentially better than the ones we have. Uh, so let's temporarily remove our pulse spitter. Okay, so that's going to give 89 fauna. Fauna is the most important one. That's 93 fauna. That's 10,000 fauna. And that's 10,000 fauna. Yep, so we're just going to melt this down for the parts. All right, let's um let's do the glass next. Okay, we got some crafting parts from those. So we'll put that in there and that in there. There's no room for the limium, so we'll put the limium over here. Okay, let's take a look at these really quick. This is going to be Sentinel Weapons Shard thingy. And it is... Oh yeah, these are all for the bolt caster, which I don't I don't use, so I think we'll... Well, no, not necessarily. This is... Yeah, I think they are. Or these two are, anyways. So we're just going to melt those down. Okay, these are some life support modules. Let's see if any of these are better than what we have. So that's... 24 shield, 10 sprint, 24 fuel. No, nope, I don't think that's better. We'll melt that. 53 solar, 87 life support, 29 shield. Um... No, I don't think that's as good. And then finally we have this one. 100% life support. 33 shield. Nah, probably not. That one's probably a little more comparable to what we have, but not enough to make that much difference. Okay, let's bust all these open. Star chart there, nice. Okay, so I think a lot of that stuff's just junk. So that's well, you know what? Let me make sure none of this is used for crafting. So that's trading. Oh, that can be dismantled further. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, yeah. That we're going to trade for sure. That can be dismantled further. Uh, that's used for trading. That can be dismantled further. This is a resource that we'll keep, as are these three items. Okay, let's dismantle these further. Wait, are we getting anything? I don't know if we, um, I don't know if we got anything for this. Let's let this finish up its thing first. Okay, now process damage technology into parts. If we're getting something from that, I don't know what it is. Uh, thank goodness it wasn't worth a lot of money to begin with. So not that it matters. We're so rich. It's kind of funny. <laughs> it's kind of funny how rich we are. Um, I'm just gonna sell this pugnium. I got pugnium like there's no tomorrow. We'll sell these. And what? No, no, no. Quit switching back on me. <coughs> we'll sell that. And then I think I want to keep the rest of this. Okay. Alright, so now we just need to check all of these parts and see if they are uh, stuff we want to keep. So let's put more things away in here. Oh, that can go in there. Those can go in there. And the star chart. Yeah, I knew I opened this one for a reason. We'll put the star chart on. And this too. No, that. Okay. 
All right, let's check these out. So we got another life support. What is this? This is a starship shield. 31% shield strength. That's better than this one. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's melt this. And put that in its place. Okay, what is this? Ooh. Oh, wow. We need, we could use this. Okay. And we're not maxed out on it either. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep that one. And we'll probably just keep it right where it is, too. All right, what's this? This is a pulse spitter module that has reload time and clip size. Let's, um, let's look at this again. So that just allows the thing to ricochet, which I don't think it's that big of a deal. So I think I'm going to hang on to that and install this one instead. Because that's going to give us a tiny bit more reload time, but more importantly, more uh, 12 more on the clip, I think. So we got a couple of... Uh, um, decent upgrades out of that. Nothing like absolutely phantasmagorical, but still a couple. And then, of course, the rest of this stuff just gives us the wiring looms and the and the other goodies. All right, fantastic. Let's do a save. Uh, has this other fleet come back? Yes, they have. Okay, let's turn these in, and then we'll have all of our ships back to reassign. One of those said something about ejecting somebody from an airlock. <laughs> That's funny. It's using accelerants good. Activated cadmium's pretty good. Gecknip. Pyrite grease. Wow, 2.8 million from a combat mission. That's not so bad. A couple things we can just sell right away. We don't need to take them back to our inventory. Now the pyrite grease we can sell. And switch to the starship. Or no, to the freighter, rather. Uh, I'll sell the magnetized ferrite and the chromatic metal, because I've got lots of it. Okay, I'll we'll switch all this stuff over and get it put away. Okay, I think we are ready to proceed. Um, let's take a look at our... Our frigates next, actually. First of all, make sure nobody's damaged. I don't think anybody is. Nope, everybody's in good shape. And you can see that I have uh, all 30. So there's there's nine per screen. So three times nine is 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay. Um, and we got a pretty decent mix, I think, of, of the different types as well. So let's talk to you. And see what we got for new routes. Okay, so let's just go down the line and assign the appropriate ships, except for the balanced one, we'll just use whatever's left over. Okay, so we'll go to combat, and we want to assign all of our combat ships just right down the line. And those are already all Bs, and that gives us a fleet rating of five stars, which is amazing. Okay, these will be our discovery ships, um, so we want our exploration we got the 1A ship. And that gives us a five-star fleet rating. Beautiful. Take off, you guys. Oh, I've got so much uh, frigate fuel, too, from being a pirate. That's awesome. All right. These will be our mining vessels, our, our industrials. I'm always going to send the best ones out first until they level. And then you work our way down. And eventually all of these will become S. Frigates. Oh, by the way, while I was off camera, I did actually find an S-Class frigate in the wild, so to speak, but it actually had really bad numbers uh, for being an S-Class, uh, so I didn't take it. Okay, let's do the trade expedition next. And so we got two B-Class traders, and 
Uh, yeah, here, here, and here. And we got a five-star fleet rating on that too, so this ought to be good. And then whoever's left over, we'll just put on the balanced, uh, which is, there's actually a lot left over. So um, let's do a, a combat, an exploration, an industrial, and two traits. And then everybody else, uh, I guess, if I make another, okay, hold on a second. If I make another fleet command module, does that open up more missions? No, because we have we have an open one here already. So I guess that's all we can send out at a time. We only send out 25 ships at a time, so I guess the extra five ships are are backups. I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, well there you go. All right, guys. Um, we are going to. Um. Oh, let's get. Yeah, let's get our, our drives installed on our freighter. Um, so, we have... Uh, we have two... High-powered slots. Or what are they called again? Supercharged slots. So we have this one. I don't think we need the matter beam in there. I don't think it matters. <laughs> See what I did there? Um, and this is also a supercharged slot. So right now... We have a hyperdrive range of 566. If we move the this over to here, it still stays 566. So it probably doesn't matter. Wait, where did I just do? Probably doesn't matter where we put this. If we put it down here, it goes up to 586. Okay, so what we're gonna do is let's install all of these. Hopefully we have all the stuff for it. Oh, okay. We're going to have to make... Wait a minute. I should have tons of emerald. What? Okay, hold on. Let's make two of these. And go here. Okay, hold on. Uh, I wonder if all the emerald I have is activated. Activated, activated, activated. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to have to go get some emerald. I don't suppose we can buy any. Let's take a look. Nope. Um, we could go down to the to the flight deck and check out, um, or to the hangar rather, and check out and see if any of the pilots have it. But it's probably gonna be faster for us to just go get some. Okay, well, can we install this guy? Yeah, we got everything we need for that. Okay. So now our hyperdrive range is up to 880, and incidentally. These guys, unlike the Starship, um, you know, uh, drives that let you go to the colored star systems, these also add an additional 50 light years on top. So they're, it's worth having all of them installed. Um, so I guess the only other question then is if I put... So right now we're at 880. If I put one of these in here instead... That gives us 853. So yeah, I think having the actual hyperdrive itself in there is the best arrangement for the time being. Now eventually, we will get these other two. Uh, this will give us 300 light years and this will give us 800 light years. And when we have that, we're going to pop the 800 in the supercharged slot. Uh, but you know, we, we need more salvage frigate modules to get that. Okay, so I think what we need to do then is we need to fly to a green star system and get some emerald. So let's do it. Okay, the nearest green system is probably this one here. Nazaf. Let's go. Oh, 
Oh, we got another battle. Okay, what, what's the what's the ship? Where's the capital? Does this one not have a capital ship? I'm not seeing it. All right, well, let's kill the bad guys anyways. Oh, here it is over here. Okay. Hmm, I wonder what class this is going to be. Well, only one way to find out. Let's kill the bad guys. If I can get them out from the ship here. Sometimes my wingmen are, they get in my way, and they, they don't do shit for damage either, they're just there for show. <laughs> they're kind of fun though, but... Alright, so this is a, one of the Sentinel battleship style ships, I kind of like the Star Destroyers better, but this is kind of cool though too, it's, I think it's one of the smaller ones, but I mean if it's, if it's the right class, we'll take it. Let's see what, uh, okay, come on on board and let me off you a free ship. Okay, gotcha. Let's just head on inside and see what we got here. All right, this is a B-class freighter. It's got 31 storage and 18 tech. Let's go compare it to what we currently have. Where is El Capitan? He's right here. Wait, offer to buy the freighter? Hold on. Why does that say buy the freighter? I thought we would have the ability to trade it. Oh. Wait a minute. What? Okay, hold on a sec. We have 18 and 19 on the A class. This one has 31 slots, so it's got a lot more storage than our current one. And it looks like it's got uh, 7 versus 6. So it's got about the same tech slots. But isn't it supposed to give us the option of... Like, I'll accept payment instead or whatever? It's not giving me that option. What the hell? Space Rescue. Speak to the captain. Make your way to the bridge and speak to the captain. Your assistance will be rewarded. Um, okay, now that we have that activated, nope, it still, it still doesn't give us the, the options there. Dude, I saved your butt. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Well, no, I don't, I don't think so. It's not. No, I don't think we're going to do it. I don't know why that. That quest doesn't isn't working unless I'm am I on the wrong ship? I didn't think so because I think these capital vessels, these the battleships and the star destroyers, um, oops, I think they only spawn during oh come on, they only spawn during these events, so this has to be the right one. 
Alright, slow down, don't hit that thing. Yeah, okay, it says mission target is in another system. What? That doesn't make sense. Okay, hold on. What system are they in? If we go back to current mission, it shows that it's here. Oh, there it goes. It says space rescue. All right. Well, let's let's go there. I, I, I'm confused though, man. I'll tell you. I don't understand. <laughs> it's like we rescued him and then he warped away. Except for that battleship was still there. I'm starting to think something's not working right. Okay, so, um, we lost it. It's gone. Yeah, that's broken, man. That's just flat out done broke. Well, balls. I think we kind of got screwed there. While we're here, we might as well at least go to the space station and get a, a suit upgrade and check the multi-tool. Yeah, but I think we got hose, guys. But, you know, whatever. We'll uh, we'll get more opportunities. If, if you didn't know, you get another freighter battle every five jumps and three hours in the game. And I had done quite a few jumps and spent a few hours, you know, doing all the pirating off camera, so. Um, you know, we'll get more opportunities. I'm just a little concerned, though, that it, you know, that it did what it did. Let's check the multi-tool first. Oh, that's a cool-looking multi-tool. Actually, it looks like the one we already have. Similar to it. Uh, and it's only seat glass. All right, what do you got for modules? Um, he's got a plasma launcher S module and a blaze javelin. Let's look at our, our setup for a second. Okay, so we already have three plasma launcher modules there. I, w I do want to try the Blaze Javelin module at some point, or a Blaze Javelin weapon, I should say. So let's just buy this. We got nanites coming out of our ears. So we'll just buy this and we'll sit on it. Okay, let's check the Starship. Uh, starship guy for modules. He has no S class. Alright, not really interested if he doesn't have S class. Uh, let's get our free suit upgrade. Or, I'm sorry, not free suit upgrade. Expensive suit upgrade. Um, we're going to keep working on tech until tech's maxed out, and then I'll worry about storage later. And let's just take a quick look and see what you've got for modules. A thermal protection. we got thermal, life support, and installable upgrade. No, I don't think we need any of those. Okay. Um, well, that's disappointing that we kind of got screwed on that freighter battle. But what can you do? What is this thing? That is a B-class explorer, right? Yeah. Let's check this shuttle. B-class, okay. I am starting to think about getting some more ships at some point. I just haven't found anything I like better than this ship yet. I like the colors on that planet. It's frozen. Okay. Let's go back into the galaxy map and just go back to this uh, green star system again. Wait a minute. There. And we're just going to grab some emeralds so we can finish that hyperdrive for our freighter. That's got emerald. Let's just go. 
It's a lifeless planet. Alright, there's something green there that could be emerald or it could be ammonia. So we'll land and find out. And yeah, I'd say this is pretty much a lifeless planet. Not a whole lot going on here. Eerily calm. Sentinels are ever present. Fauna is lacking. Flora is barren. Okay. I'll probably mine all of this up just so we have a little extra. Okay, I think we pretty much cleaned this out. That took a while. It's a big deposit. So what we can do is... Um, here, let's go here. Recharge this. Okay, so we should be able to go here, go to the freighter, because we have the teleporter thingamadoodle, this thing here, and finish this off with all this emerald. And now, our capital vessel can go to any star system, which is really nice. It's been a, it's a bit of a milestone, because I've been grinding for, for this ability for quite some time. And boom, there it is. fan freaking tastic All right. Um, how much emerald did we end up getting? Quite a bit, yeah. I've got uh, um, that much. <laughs> About 18, 1,800 left after we fixed up the freighter. Very cool. All right, you guys. Well, unfortunately, we are out of time in this episode. But um, it is my intent in the next episode to head for the stars and head for the center of the galaxy and do some exploring and just kind of see the sights. Um, so that is what we will be working on in the upcoming episode or episodes. And so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.